Hi, I'm Tianxing. I'm going to present the Spanish national culture in the context of negotiation. People are unpredictable and not always follow their cultural pattern. However, means understandings resulting from differences in relational expectations due to cultural diversity always leads to wrong interpretation and might result in lost business or failure in any negotiations. So it is necessary to pay more attention on this aspect when involving a cross-cultural meeting. The presentation focuses on the culture of Spain, and I'm going to elaborate in five parts. First, some important traits of the culture. Second, four elements of Spanish culture, then focus on how Spanish is likely to approach a negotiation. And on the other hand, how negotiators might manage the process more effectively. Lastly, it is conclusion and reference. First of all, Spanish tends to negotiate a win-win situation as the best do, with a slightly higher drawn profit over the individual profit. Secondly, in a Spanish setting, controversy and the utterance of original ideas from the participants are appreciated in words. That's due to the recognition of individual's wishes to be seen as an original person and that she or he is self-aware of positive social qualities. To some extent, Spanish are relation builders. They prefer to work on the relationship instead of on the surface. That's why the process of Spanish business negotiations is always lengthy. Fourthly, they choose for more direct strategies in invitations and offers. Because insistence here is not understood as face threatening, but rather as highlighting the sincerity of the offer. Furthermore, Spanish culture is under the positive politeness cultures which means using politeness strategies to display affection and solidarity between interlocutors instead of generating respect and social differentiation. This would be elaborate on the next slide. And lastly, the implied interruption behavior is often used by Spanish. However, it implies that the interrupter is interested in what the other is talking about, and he or she is actively communicating. Besides, Spanish also pay attention to formal dressing, and 13 is an unlucky number in their culture. As for the four elements of Spanish culture regarding of positive politeness cultures, People tend to positively assess the agency and create bonds of friendship, cooperation, and affiliation, which is showing a preference for establishing supportive and close relationships between interlocutors. As mentioned previously, Spanish business negotiations is always lengthy, since people need to focus on what's below the sea level, build relationships, and thus trust through personal interactions. Development is the need for pos positive self-affirmation and being treated with familiarity and closeness. In part three, let's talk about what is the impact of Spanish cultural characteristics and values on how they approach negotiations. In a differentiation stage, they pay attention to the preliminary work. To elaborate, trust need to be enhanced step-by-step step with more high-quality personal interaction before talking real business. Merely online checks or phone calls will not work. After all, showing closeness and friendliness are key factors in interaction in the Spanish-speaking world. It is hard for them to negotiate with service partners to move on, chit chats can be around politics, travel, and sports, especially football. An insistent invitation is one way they are sincerely showing interest, which may seem aggressive for other cultures. In the explanation stage, Spanish tends to throw out an unreasonably high first bid, 
and wait for counterparty's reaction. They appreciate controversy and the utterance of original ideas, and during conversations, always pay attention to face saving and even face enhancing. In the bargaining, they might express interest by interruption. In the exchange stage, with their tendency for win-win situation, they will make greater concessions for the original hybrid. Spanish values widespread social norms and slightly partial to joint profit than individuals. On the other hand, in the view of how they might negotiate, what should negotiators now do to help manage the process more effectively? In a differentiation stage, take time to build relationship before formal meeting. Close friendship will make things more smoother in this circumstance. And it's also helpful to find something in common with them during chit chats. But better avoid bullfight if you are not a fan since this is a kind of art instead of sport for most Spanish. When receiving invitations, try not to reject since that is a precious chance to promote closeness. The image of providing more information can show sincerity to Spanish. In the explanation stage, don't be panicked for their high bid and can share different ideas. But one should be careful about the language of rejection. Faces balance between participators or to be kept with politeness. When they interrupt, keep calm and wait for them to finish it because it might be a good sign for this negotiation. In the exchange stage, be patient to wait for their concessions and try to seek for John profit. That's pretty much of the presentation. And when you are negotiating with someone from Spanish national culture, always keep in mind of how they value closeness and friendliness. Spanish is a enthusiasm nation and sometimes over passion in view of other cultures. Wish you all the best during your negotiation with Spanish and make good friends. Thank you for watching.